and landed in San Juan at 3 a.m. Wednesday morning. From that moment forward, there wasn't a dull moment. They instantly got to work to help deliver to the communities along the southern coast that haven't been reached by the government. Veterans' response is ready for the long haul, and their mission is only beginning. In the morning, we go to sleep, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, two or three tremors at a time. Constant and unpredictable tremors continue to shake the southern coast of Puerto Rico. There have been over 300 earthquakes with a magnitude greater than a 3.0 since December 28th. There were 10 of which Monday alone. With the tremors and shakes, it keeps uh, weakening the house down. So then when you get a, a 5 or 4.9, that's when you hear some crumbling. Angel Fernandez and Jason Wyman's mission was to set up base camp for veterans response while assessing the needs of those and communities in need. One of the biggest they found was the mental health for people constantly living in fear. An idea difficult for veterans of Desert Storm like Ray Guasp. Those memories and live with you forever. More importantly, there are certain triggers that bring you back to that time. And, you know, it's never a good one. Guas says phase two of their operation will focus on bringing therapists to local communities. Maybe allow them to work with the children, some of the adults, ease some of that pain that they've gone through the last several weeks. Pain that has only been amplified by the recent discovery of a warehouse in Ponce filled with supplies meant to be delivered after Hurricane Maria. Fernandez and Wyman responded to the warehouse in hopes of gathering goods. In my eyes, I saw what they were saying was actually a, a, a free for all. Fernandez says the looting and rioting got to a point where they had to pull out. People see the videos, but being there and seeing it with your own eyes, those videos doesn't describe exactly what happened. Anguish and a lack of trust in the local government that Fernandez believes may never be fixed. There was a big trust issue over there because of what happened in Maria, with all the lies and the corruption, which is still ongoing. Veterans Response says they are in it for the long haul, and even after their mission is complete, they plan to help rebuild homes and communities left in rubble. Their efforts are supported by donations from people wanting to help. You can head to Fox 61 website for links to donate or buy goods from their Amazon wish list. Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News.